Hey there, uh, welcome back. Haley here uh, with At Home with Haley. Um, today I'm going to be going through my dresser and um, decluttering and just resetting. So about a year or so ago I um, started folding my clothes sort of in the Marie Kondo method. Um, well, I started Marie Kondo method and then I kind of changed it to make it easier for me. So I'll kind of explain that. I'll show you, um, you know, some of the folds that I think Marie Kondo does and then what I did to change them but still kind of get the same effect in my dresser drawers um, to make it nice and clean. I will show you most of my drawers <laughs> as they are now and then we'll go through things and clear out and then I'll refold and put back in um, and then show you how it looks at the end and how I organize my dresser. Um, a few weeks ago, I cleared out my closet. So if you haven't seen that video, go take a, a look at that. It is a long one. <laughs> it's about an hour and a half. But if you enjoy seeing people go through things and declutter, um, go check it out. You might enjoy that. Um, but today, just wanted to get this cleared out. It's kind of gotten junky. There's one drawer in here that's nothing but junk. Like it's literally a junk drawer in my dresser. So um, my dresser is plenty big for all my all my clothes that I fold. Um, so it does leave me with some extra space, which is good. But also, you end up just throwing stuff in there. And we don't have drawers in our nightstand, so like things you normally would maybe throw in your nightstand drawer, they make their way into this drawer. And my son opened it the other day and was like, Mom, you really need to clean this out. <laughs> so if a 12-year-old's telling you it's a mess, it probably is. So uh, we're going to tackle that today, but first we'll start with the clothes and then we'll, we'll clear that out. And I just want to take you guys along with me while I do it. So let's get started. All right, so quick glance up here. This drawer, underwear, socks, and bras. I'm not gonna stay here long, but just show you it needs some work. Um, this drawer is t-shirts, uh, long sleeve and short sleeve. This one stays pretty tidy. Um, you can tell it's, you know, not a, it's not a mess. Um, but there may be some things in here that I don't wear that I can get rid of. Down here is mainly uh, like shorts. I would either do yard work in or sleep in or work out if I actually work out. And then also some pants. Like these are, these two are pants that I would sleep in or lounge around in um, throughout the day. There's also some like shirts that are maybe workout type shirts. Um, I probably haven't worn most of those recently. All right, so you can see here um, a t-shirt that I probably only wore for a little while and then just stuck it in here. And then this is a shorts drawer, honestly. I don't think any of those fit me right now. So I may decide like I'm not gonna get rid of it, but I'm gonna like store it somewhere else uh, to, to relieve space. But the reason I haven't gotten rid of those is because I do have room for them in here, so I don't know. I might leave them, just make sure it's more organized. Um, here is pajamas, and they're not the way they should be. They're, I just threw things on top, and that's not how they should be. So we'll get that reorganized. I did clear a few pajamas out last week just because I was not having room. This is bathing suits and bathing suit cover-ups as they are now uh, this is all baby stuff so when the babies come over we have like brand new stuff in here right now um, if they need a bib or clothes um, things like that so I've just got some you know random baby clothes I just need to organize it I do want to leave it here because uh, it's nice to have a, a location to put it not just sitting around here <laughs> You're like, what the heck? This is a sheet that I get out if we're going to paint. And we painted pumpkins the other week. Um, so it's got paint from that. But I want to keep this. I don't need it in my dresser. 
who knows what else so we're gonna get into that more later on um, this is a massager nothing nothing that people can't see in here <laughs> uh any you know anything in here is not personal really so um anyway we will go through this probably most of this doesn't need to be here so it'll be gone um but if it does we'll organize it and make sure it's nice and neat all right i'm gonna show you i'm gonna get started going through stuff and then i'll show you how i fold hi okay so when I first started um, trying to figure out a better way to organize, I started doing the Marie Kondo folding method. So for short, for shirts, excuse me, what you do is you lay it out. This is the part I have a problem with, that I have to lay out on a surface every piece of clothing that I'm folding. I can sit there, anyway, I'll get into that. So what you're doing is you're going to make a rectangle. So you fold over one side, then you fold over the sleeve to make it straight, okay? Fold over the other side, and I'm not great at this, so I did it for a while, but I stopped. And you fold that way, so now you've just got one long rectangle. Well, then you fold this up till it's almost at the end. Then you fold over twice. And with this method, you're supposed to be able to stand it up like this, which is all well and good. Like the finished product, great. But me having to lay out every piece of clothing I'm folding is the issue that I have. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and I don't have to lay it down on a surface. All right, so you remember, this is what we ended up with which is fine. That's how I, you know, this is the size I want uh, the shirt to be at the end so that I can put them in the drawer and, and they're standing up. Don't like that I had to lay it down. So I had to have a surface to lay it down on. What I would rather do, what is easier for me, is to just be able to sit there and fold it without a surface. So I kind of went back to how I used to do it, which is kind of a standard way. You pull together both shoulders, you pull in the sleeves, right? So you're making a big rectangle, but it's a, a fatter rectangle than the Marie Kondo. And you just fold it over. And this used to be how I folded, and that was it. And they laid, sorry, um, they laid flat in the drawer and the problem with that so they'd be like this the problem with that is now you have to like lift up each one to find what you're doing what you're looking for whereas when they're like this and it's like a file cabinet i can see clearly really quickly which shirt it is and i'm not making a mess getting it out because i'm just pulling that one out the rest stay in place um, and, and it's all good. So this issue though, it's too big. So what I do from here, so I do that and then I just fold it over and fold it over. So now I've got a very similar sized shirt that I can stand up. I don't care. I don't care about this. If it stands up on its own, um, I have enough where they, you know, they, hold each other up. They're packed in there pretty tight. But that's just for me getting a similar result. But I'm not, I don't have to lay it down on the surface. So I'll do it one more time. Let me lower the camera a tad. All right. So pull the shoulder seams together. So you got this, a half shirt. I should have gotten a shirt that's a much different color than what I'm wearing. Uh, fold in the sleeves, fold it over, and then I like for whatever's on it to be, you know, visible. So, I, I promise I'm better at this when y'all aren't watching. So, I fold it over, and then I fold it down, and I leave, you know, whatever's on it. So, sometimes that might mean you fold it where the back of the shirt shows so that you can see whatever print or anything's on it. If it's a plain shirt, wouldn't matter. 
uh, but this is how I do it. So I'm not going to unfold and refold all my shirts. I think that's silly, but I will quickly look through them and say, okay, I'm, I'm never going to wear that. I haven't been wearing it. I don't think a lot of my t-shirts I'm going to get rid of. So I think if I had seen it in there and I knew I didn't want it, I probably already got rid of it. Uh, but I think there'll be some other stuff that I'll probably get rid of. So let's get going on that. All right, so I'm gonna actually start with my underwear and sock drawer. Um, I have a few little sports bras. I'm gonna keep those. I'm just gonna get them full. I just threw this one in there. It was in the laundry yesterday. I'm gonna fold them nicer. So I do fold them so that they end up like a little rectangle as well. So I got those two folded. And I'm just going to go through, I'm not going to show all my underwear, but the way that I have my underwear is in these little uh, Dollar Tree trays. I'll show one empty in just a second. And I fold them also in a way that makes a little rectangle and so they're able to stand up, but they've gotten a little messy. So I'm going to go through those. Here's the trays. So you could get any kind, it doesn't have to look like this, any kind of like long tray or it could be this big and you do, you know, two sets right next to each other. But it is kind of nice if it's like both sides are closed in so that it stands up better. This is what I'm getting rid of. And then I've got a whole tray here. And just a few in this one and as I do laundry I've got a few loads that need to be folded I'll put those in here I know that there's multiple bras in here that I don't wear so I'm gonna go through those real quick <laughs> it is abundantly clear that I need to go bra shopping <laughs> I have like three left that I actually wear so but if I don't, I mean, I really, if they're not comfortable, I'm not putting it on. So, they're gone. Um, my daughters may try them on and see. All right. I have socks and, I have socks and gloves. So, those are here. I don't have many socks. Most of, when I wear socks, it's usually with uh, little flats. So I get these. And if you can find these Peds brand at Dollar Tree, sometimes they have them a three pack for, I guess it's $1.25 now, but it used to be a dollar a piece. Um, this is great. These are great. They have the little rubber in the back heel that keeps them on and they're Peds brand. Can't beat it. Look for those at the Dollar Tree. For these, I just put one inside of the other and then I fold it like this. That may be silly. And then this is my container for socks. Again, Dollar Tree, I believe. Um, and then I just put them in here like this. Okay, put them next to each other like that. Then I have a few pairs of gloves. I'm going to also... And I just do those normal way, like I just flop it inside of each other. Um, and then here's a few pair. I've never worn these. I don't remember where I got them. But I just kind of fold these into a little rectangle. These, uh, my husband had a pack of socks. But I like s'mores a lot more than he does, so laughs some more worry less <laughs> i have not worn those either i really don't wear socks except for those small ones much my feet have to get cold um for me to put these on and i just lounge in them i don't wear them anywhere so again folding that into a little rectangle all right so this is the end i know i have several pairs of socks in the laundry so that'll fill up a little more space but really uh, minimalistic on socks for sure all right moving on to t-shirts like I said I probably won't get rid of much in here so yeah that drawer is fine 
Um, actually, I need to put this one I was using as an example back in here. Um, but those are good. And that drawer, like I said, it has stayed pretty organized. All right, this drawer, I think I will be getting rid of some stuff. So let me get this out, actually. And I'll bring it over here and go through it. Okay. Let's start here. All right, this is just black leggings, but I have found I don't like the cotton ones. These are Walmart um, brand, and the cotton just, they don't look nice, and they just get worn out, so I'm not gonna get, I'm not gonna keep those. These were given to me, y'all, they're like, they're like the jeans that are not jeans. There's no pockets. There's no button. <laughs> so I am not keeping these. Why did, why do I still have them? I don't know. Okay. I bought these when I was smaller and I think they're really cute. Man, I hate to get rid of them, but they, they're a medium. They're probably too big for one daughter, too small for the other, too small for me right now. <sighs> Let me think of some. I hate to get, they're Nine West brand. Um, I'm not, I'm not going to keep them, but I'm going to see if someone else wants them. All right. These are just little black athletic shorts. They fit me. They're large. So I'm going to keep them. Here's how I fold these. I fold the crotch area and then a little more so that I get that um, rectangle. Now Marie Kondo would probably do two rolls and you could do that. I might do that again. What I have been doing is, let me show you on another pair. So these are my Reebok, one of my Reeboks. I have a black and a gray and I like these. They fit me. What I've been doing is just this and then fold over once but I don't know it is a little tall in the drawer I think I did that to save room this way so they wouldn't be so thick maybe I'll keep well I'll get rid of enough to where they can be thick so you would just fold like this and you have your little thing and then they should they're standing up over here you have to trust me all right, these were little like biker shorts. I got them at Five Below because they have the foam pocket. I don't think I would even wear them if they fit me right now, but I'll see if someone wants them. All right, these are Adidas. They are, what size are they? Um, I don't know. I can't really tell what that means. So I don't think these fit me right now. My daughter might want them. Here is a sports bra. So what I do with these, I fold it in half, right? Half ways. And then I fold the straps in and then I fold over. So it's like this. Actually, I do a little more than that. So again, you're just always trying to get a little triangle. So I'm gonna keep all my sports bras, I think. And just fast forwarding through this so you don't see me fold the same type thing over and over and over and take up too much of the video. These are really big and they're cotton leggings. I don't want them. Okay, I just bought these and they're really more for sleeping in. So I might put them in, I've been putting them in this drawer because I couldn't fit them in my pajama drawer because there was so much. But they're just like gray joggers. And here's a very similar pair of gray joggers. How I fold these again, I just push that crotch area in, fold them up, and then fold them over twice. And so you've got that rectangle. All right, here's where I think we need to get rid of some stuff. This shirt I kept just to paint in. I don't want it. 
This shirt is, I don't know. I just haven't been putting any of these on. I haven't been working out. I can buy new ones if I start working out again. This one was for painting. I think it's going too. This one was for painting the tank top. This one for painting. This one got a lot of painting done. So maybe I need to keep one painting shirt. Um, I'll pick one. I don't know which one yet. This one. I don't think I painted in it, but I just, I never wear it. I don't want it. This is a little Adidas shirt. I think it's too small for me now. Get rid of that. This one is another athletic shirt that I have not worn. It's going. This one, <laughs> I cut the sleeves off of and wore to do yard work because it was getting holes in it. Um, it's a South Carolina Gamecock shirt, but I'm not keeping it. It's done. All right. This I think is too small for me. Yeah. These are a medium. Not going to fit me right now. Getting rid of them. Plus I think they have some paint on them. These, I thought I was buying, <laughs> I thought I was buying like a, adult extra large but they're a kid extra large so they don't fit me these don't fit me i'll see if my daughter wants them they fit me i don't like how they fit these would fit i don't like them they got paint on them don't want these i do wear these to bed so these are just little cotton Walmart shorts. Again, just fold them in half. Fold down twice. Got a little rectangle. And just fast forwarding again while I put everything away. This is everything I'm not keeping from that one drawer. I'm happy about it. If you're not using it and it's in your way, get it out not helping you in your life. All right, shorts. Like I said, none of these right here fit me at the moment. I bought them all last year. So I have a white pair of universal thread. Have this pair of Levi's. And these I folded like I folded the other shorts, but they only go down once. Like I couldn't get three fold, you know, a third. These are universal thread pink shorts. These are Walmart that never fit me. I bought without trying them on. But I'm just like, they're all pretty much brand new. If they did fit again, I would wear them. I think I'm going to keep them because I do have so much room in this dresser. Like, I don't fill it up. So, these are shorts that do actually fit me right now. So, I'll put them with the others at the front. <laughs> All right. Pajamas. And just pulling everything out quickly and then we'll get back to it. I bought these last year. No, these are new. These are pajama shorts that were on clearance at Walmart. They're really soft, so I'll keep those. This is a little nightgown that says, let's snuggle. I like it. It's really soft. I don't wear nightgowns a lot, but I just have these two. So that one. And then this one that says, five more minutes, <laughs> which is a good fit for me. I like to hit snooze. So got those two. This goes with, so this one just says blessed and it came 
with, there they are, these pants, little leopard or cheetah or something. Um, I do those like I do the other pants, just like tuck the crotch in, fold them in half, and then flip twice. In this drawer, I'm going to be keeping, if there's a set, I'll keep them right next to each other. It won't matter if it's a shirt or pants. I want them to be where I can grab them quickly. So I'll keep this. I do like this set. It's really soft too. I got this at Ross. So those are good. All right. The other day when I went through this drawer, I almost got rid of these because I just don't think I'm going to wear them. I'm going to get rid of them. These and there's another pair here. Here they are. The blue with polar bears and the gray with penguins. I just never grab them. They're gone. And they're not a set or anything. All right, these I do grab. They're just black joggers that I sleep in sometimes. Might put those in the drawer. I am going to do that because. I lounge around on them too. So I'm going to put those with these since there's so much room in this drawer. I do have some leggings that go in that drawer that are dirty or getting washed. Alright, this little set is blue. The, sh the shirt and pants are the same. Those are fine. They're soft. These I just got. They're like little camping. They're soft. I'll keep those. Just got these as well. So it's this pants. Y'all have probably, if you go to Walmart, you've probably seen these. They've had them for like years. Mama Bear. We're going to take a picture with, hopefully with all of our kids and our grandbabies um, with pajamas on. That's the plan so got to make sure everybody has they don't we don't want them all to like be exactly the same or anything but just have like a similar look so red black white green <laughs> I just said any color I guess these shorts came with this sweatshirt and I like the sweatshirt um, the shorts, something about them, like they don't stretch on the seam at the on the legs, and they end up just looking like they're cutting off my circulation. <laughs> so I'll see if my daughter wants those. She wears little shorts like that to bed too. Um, but I'm gonna keep this sweatshirt for the cold nights. All right, so getting rid of these. And then this came with, it just says coffee please, but it's short and I don't do short shirts. It came with these. I love the pants and I like the shirt as far as like, I love coffee and it's soft and everything. I don't know, I might wear it with the black tank top under it sometimes. I don't wanna separate the set. But you could do it. It would be fine. <laughs> the clothes don't know. Um, so I'm going to keep those though. And like I said, these actually they might be tight. I think they are. I don't know. They're large. I'll have to try them back on. All right. Happy camper ones. I don't love that that's glittery, but these are soft. They have pants to match, so I'll keep that. Uh, these are really comfy little shorts. They don't have a set, but I like those, so I will keep those. I, I do wear this sometimes, allergic to mornings. My kids hate it. They're <laughs> like, Mom, I hate that shirt. Take that off. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep it, though. I'll just wear it to bed. It's fine. I don't think I want these sweatshirts anymore. This one says it starts with a smile. Actually, I do want this one. I think the other two I don't want. 
So it starts with a smile. It's that one. And I'm not holding these very well. This one. Oh, these went with those. So this goes with the blue polar bear. Maybe it's cold outside. I just don't ever wear that. This goes with the pink one. Snuggle. I don't know if they went with it, but they were at Walmart at the same time. And so maybe I bought them together. Well, they didn't actually go. All right, so that was a good many things to get rid of. So let me get this back in the drawer. Put all the sets next to each other. And just getting all those put away real quick. And then we'll, we'll get on to the next drawer. Oh, do I even want to talk about Raymond? I'm going to do it. Let's do it. I have a feeling a lot of this is going away. This was some bottoms of my daughter's. She didn't want them. I took them. I don't want them either. This is a top that's similar. There's the bottom of that. Don't want those. Um, it's the top to that one. Yeah, here's the top to the first one. Those are going. All right, this I do like. I bought it when I was smaller, but I think I'm gonna wait and see. So it is really new. It goes with Well, I don't know. I'll have to come back to it. <clears throat> okay. This is just a little dress I wear. Um, it's just a gray cover-up kind of dress. And then here's another little cover-up. So I'm going to keep both of those. These have gotten stretched out. Let me get rid of those bottoms. Okay, these were new bottoms and they came from Target. I'm keeping these. They go with this top here. So I'm keeping that. And I try to do the same thing. I don't have a specific way it has to be done but I try to make it into a rectangle this I had made this was when I was smaller I had made this a cover up like a cut open a shirt my daughter might want that I don't this is old I don't think I wore it last year maybe I did maybe I did We'll wait and see. This one is kind of cute. Um, bathing suits are hard to fold. Like, honestly, I do my best, but it's you can just throw them in there. Okay, this is what went with those. So, super high-waisted. Went with the first green. So, that's a cute little set. I do really like it. I just don't fit it right now. My daughter might would wear it though, or if I do lose some weight again. This one. Do I even have bottoms for it? These bottoms are way too big. Get rid of those. These never fit me small okay I do like these bottoms with this top so these are high waisted and this is like a little like this but I don't look real cute in that right now so we'll see in the next few years um, but I do like these high waisted black and white striped with that it's really cute when it fits you. 
Um, this one, these bottoms, high waisted again. I bought all these when I was smaller, so I don't do the high waisted with some of my stomach showing unless I'm a little bit smaller. But if you feel comfortable, do it. And then this one goes with that, so I do like that one. Okay, this I know it's part of it's dry rotted, I think. Um, it was a cute suit in its day, but I don't want it. I haven't been wearing it in a few years. This one's dry rotted. Yeah. This one. Oh, it's a top. It's just a top. But I wore it, I think, with some of those high-waisted bottoms, but it covered up my belly fully. This never looked cute on me. <laughs> it just looked really awkward. It still has the tag on it, but I don't want it. I'm going to keep this one. I don't even know where this came from. Could be my daughter's. She can look. Okay, this one, I have no idea, don't want it, that's it. And you'll see me just chatting away, but I fast forward a few times. Alright, baby stuff. This is fun. Um, okay, I'm going to get all these off the hangers because they're new. And pulling all that out real quick. This is baby socks and bows. So here's one little headband. It probably came with something I don't remember, but we'll keep that. And then these are just the bows. And I'm just going to scoot the bows to the side and put the socks in the same. And I'm not going to try to, they're too small to try to like put them in a certain way. Here's another pair of, look how tiny. Just so sweet. All right, and these little khaki shorts, little baby shorts. Okay, so I'm gonna take the tags off of these two so that I can organize them better in here. And for these, I'm just gonna fold like that. There's not that much baby stuff, so I'm not as concerned about trying to make it fit or anything. Um, just make it nice and organized. And again, chatting away here, talking about baby bathing suits. <laughs> um, but just trying to get through a little faster on this video, so i um, not going to leave in all of what I said, but, you know, just getting it organized. All right, these are cute. These were from Ross, I think. It's four little long sleeve ones, so hearts. My husband loves foxes, so this one we got. This striped, and then hedgehogs. <laughs> so these we got, and then we got the little pants to put on with it, you know, if we need to get them dressed. And this little outfit with a fox, the pants too, super cute. Um, and then just another big set of bibs. Our one grandchild is, she spits up <laughs> all the time and drools a lot. So we're constantly having to change her bib out. And folding all of that up. Um, it is all super cute, and we actually put that outfit on our granddaughter, the one with the fox on the front, uh, like the little sweatshirt and leggings suit that weekend, So, and it was super cute on her. And some of the little gray socks, um, and she was super cute. So it's good to have these little outfits around in case we need them while the babies are with us. I call them babies. One of them's three. She's still a baby to me, but um, I'm sure she would tell me she's a big girl <laughs> if she heard me calling her a baby. 
and while I do get everything out of this um, junk drawer I talked about every single little thing in there <laughs> it was just too much um, so basically though what I'm doing is getting out things there's like a pile of throwaway stuff a pile of things that needed to go like to the medicine cabinet a pile of things that needed to go to the bathroom um, I got rid of some of the masks I kept a few there were some that were like a kid size that no one in my house could wear anymore um, but don't you don't need to hear exactly why I keep every single little thing in there but just know that I went through every single thing in that drawer and dealt with it and feels good you'll see that drawer then it's a big difference between um, what it did look like and what it looks like now and I can actually find the things I need in it um, <laughs> oh there was a little pile of Christmas stuff so I must have like missed some things when I was cleaning up uh, Christmas stuff last year and just threw it in this drawer that's what happens when you have a junk drawer you just throw things in there um, that was a little ornament my son had made so that's cute um, so yeah even a little Christmas pal from this drawer um, and then I'm just talking about some of the jewelry and stuff but let me know if you um, are motivated and are going to tackle a space after this. Um, I know that another spot in my house I need to take care of is going back through um, the area under my kitchen sink. So I had organized it a while back and um, you know things just get disorganized over time. But if you have them organized in the first place it really is a lot less. Um, it's a lot I don't know it doesn't get so bad if you have some kind of level of organization to begin with whereas if you're starting from just nothing has a home and nothing has a place where it goes uh, it can be pretty it can take a while and it can be pretty um, ain't, uh, what's the word I can't think of words it can be overwhelming to um, tackle a space that's never had any organization but I would say just look at like items so if, for instance if I saw something that was a type of medicine in my drawer I set it in a pile for for a space um, if I saw something that typically goes in a bathroom I set it in a space so use the same thinking as you go through it might be on a bigger scale if you're doing your whole house for the first time um, just think of what room does this go to, what type of item is it, and put them together in piles, um, and then find a home for those. So, um, you know, my home wasn't always as organized as it even is today. Not that it's perfect, but it just takes time and learning. My husband got this for me in Thailand when he went, when he was in the army. I always keep that and it's okay if things don't have a use but are just sentimental all right here's the reveal quick look at the underwear bra <laughs> sock drawer nice and neat uh, t-shirts about the same I did move the long sleeve t-shirts into the drawer uh, with the shorts and pants that are kind of lounge wear um, so to get them it was just really bunched into that other drawer here's regular shorts a lot of which don't actually fit me and then I just kept two tank tops a black and a white I don't wear tank tops a lot so um, that's all I really need and a lot of them were looking bad uh, this <clears throat> pajama drawer much nicer I'm able to find the sets. I've got the um, the two nightgowns and stuff. So looks a lot better than it did earlier. This is bathing suits. They are hard to fold. So um, you could make it look better than that, but not concerned. And then the baby drawer, uh, just a lot more organized. There's some swim diapers, but then just got the clothing separated out in a way that makes sense 
Um, so looks good. And then the junk drawer. I'm now going to call it a miscellaneous drawer instead. And this is what I'm getting rid of. Pretty good. This is what I still need to contend with and find other places for, but not too much trouble there. Um, but it feels good to have this done. So we're done for today. Um, if you need to clean out your dresser drawers, I uh, hope this gives you some motivation. Uh, if you want to see that closet clean out video, just look back a few weeks in my videos and it's there. And I will see you next time. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing. Um, if you enjoyed it a lot, give me a like. That would really help me out. Leave a comment. Let me know if there's anything you wouldn't have gotten rid of. Um, you know, there's not a lot in my dresser. Uh, so, not a lot to go through. But it feels good to get it nice and clean and organized again. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.